good day people and we've got a quick one for today so this isn't a track game so recently i've been doing my track games and track point games with the iflad point systems like that i've been running all them short videos but today we've got something slightly different today we've got a queue system so this isn't like the queues in let's bring about the queues as in the order of the actions it does this is a queue as in play with viewer queues so if you do a rocket league streamer you could pull a streamer and say well every join the queue wants to play one on ones with me or if you're doing a pokemon stream you could queue up names suggested names for pokemons things like that that is what kind of queue i mean here so i want to quickly get you to install it and show you how it works and that'll be it so first what you will need to do is get the code so you can do that from either get it off the website uh, at stream saver tools or you will get it from the co coffee coffee so assuming you've got that let's go over to streambot so we are in OBS now assuming that you've imported it you'll get these seven actions now so the actions are clear queue close queue join queue pull queue queue code resume queue and start queue so the first thing you need to do is go to the queue code bit because that's got all the C sharp in one action and just make sure it compiles. For me, it will compile, but if it doesn't compile, you need to add this reference system.dll, and that will make it compile nice and easily. So the next thing we do, we're going to create the either channel point or the commands. Like I said in the intro, you could do it for um, Pokemon names, so you need to use raw inputs because people use a channel point and say, oh, "I want to use this name." And that. Or you could do it as if you're a Rocket League streamer doing one on ones, so then you need to use the username. So, depending on which one you want to do, you're going to need to create the relevant thing for it. But you are going to have to create some commands either way. So, let's look, go look at the commands you need to create. So, here we have close queue, which is tied to the close queue command. We have NQ, which is tied to the clear queue command. Open queue, which is tied to start queue pull queue which is tied to the pull queue command queue which is tied to join commute queue and resume queue which is tied to resume queue yes you can call them whatever you want as long as you know what they are don't mind these are just the base of what I call them and if you want to do a channel point you just do a channel point and name it to the join queue bit so that that they're your options for how you want to do it if you want, if you want to do it through username you want a command if you want to do it through raw input, you want a channel point. I mean, you can use a command, but if you want to do your command, you just do Q and then leave it as that as well. Same way, it works the same way. But that's what it does. So let's quickly go through some of the little setup you need to do in, in the actions. Now you've created commands. So in clear Q, depending on which one you've used, you know, you're going to want to set, you're going to disable that channel point or disable that command in clear queue. So I'm just leaving both in there, but depending on which one you've set up, that's what you're going to do. You're going to disable it. Same with close queue. And then of the opposite, in resume queue and start queue, you want to enable that command or that channel point. So these won't say anything, it'll say channel point not found or command not found or something along that not available. I can't remember exactly what it says, but it says something along them lines when you import it. Then the next thing you need to do is in join queue. And it's just this. So depending on how you want people to join, you could do add to queue or raw input. For no the add to queue you could do raw input or user, depending on what you want to, how you want to do it. One thing I will really say quickly is if you're doing user and you wanted to say people couldn't join twice, I would just add a cooldown to the Q command, a uh, user cooldown. So really quickly, if we do this, the user cooldown here, just add that. So that if you've got a, if you're doing Rocket League, you're doing one on ones, and someone joins, then give it like ten minutes, and if no one joins after then, then you can let people join again. There's no set way of not letting people join again. Just I would just add a cooldown. 
So here we are with my chat open. And the first thing we'll do is open a queue. So we'll do open queue and a new queue is opened. So now what you should see is that the channel point has activated. So let's activate that. And let's put in some of our favourite people in these in this for this example. We'll do gammon. We'll do bongo. We will do the Aflad. I'm just pressing the button. We will do and a little bit. We could do, I don't know, Waldo and Friends. We could do Live 74. 74. So we've added a good amount to the queue. Now let's start pulling people from the queue. So if I do. Not that. Uh, pull queue. It's going to pull the first name, which will be Ross Galman. And then I can do it again, it's going to pull the next name, Bongo. And then I do it again, it's going to pull the next name, which is Fiafad. And then I can do it again, and it's going to pull the next name, which is Andy Lippy. Now let's close the queue. And now no longer join. So if we look in thingy, the channel point has gone. Oh no, but we can still pull. If I actually do the command right, and it's going to say Waldo. So now, if I do pull, it's going to say it's empty. I'm sorry, it's going to say lifesaver. Of course, it is. Now it'll say it's empty. Now, if I do resume queue, it's going to it's going to reopen, rebring that channel point, and now I can add. web mage and then if I do pull Q it's gonna pull web mage and that would be the same if you did it with usernames you just do Q and it would add the person who redeemed it into the queue so there you have it it's a queue system it can be really handy if you do want to do play with viewers if you do want to do Pokemon names you know you're doing a lose lock one or something like that you know I'm sure there's a ton of ton of application for this you know, like I said, you could do target users if you had an idea where you people would queue up other names, other people's names, and, and do ta you could do tag user if you could think of something to do with that. It would work that way as well. Um, but that's gonna be it for today. Again, if you've got any questions, leave them below or find us in either of the discords, the stream about one or the stream server tool discord, which is a collection of builders who build things like this for you. And if you do like this content, do consider subscribing. It is really easy. It's it's free and it takes a second and it means the world to me. So again, I want to see you later. I've been Terry Darts and I'll catch you in the next one.